Here's the story of Fotu Leato, the former Oregon Duck safety that was taken away from this world too soon. But before the awful tragedy, the young man was a promising football star. Fotu was born in Santa Ana, California and fell in love with football at a young age. By the time Fotu had gotten to high school, he and his family had moved to Stillicum, Washington where he played football at Stillicum High. Fotu wasn't highly touted during his first couple years of high school, but in his senior year he went from an unknown player to one of the best prospects in Washington. Fotu clocked in at 6 foot 200 pounds and played safety, running back, and even returned some kicks for the Sentinels. On defense in the 2014-15 season, he logged 91 total tackles. 64 of that 91 were solo tackles. He had 11 tackles for loss, 4.5 sacks, and 1 pick that season. Even though he was praised for his ball hawking on defense, Fotu played offense too. He ran the ball 85 times for over 600 yards, averaging 7.8 yards per carry. He even had three 100 yard plus games and ran the ball past the goal line 12 times. He was such an athletic stud, he even returned punts and kicks where he had over 300 yards returning and two tutties. Of course, with such productive numbers, he earned all league honors and defensive player of the year. With the numbers and the accolades came the next level. Fotu had offers from schools like Oklahoma, San Diego State, Wazoo, UCLA, Colorado, and the University of Oregon. He ultimately committed to U of O to help beef up the Ducks defense. His freshman year, he proved himself on special teams where he logged seven total tackles, three of which were solo on covering kickoffs. His sophomore year, he played in all 12 games and recorded another 16 tackles, half of which were solo tackles. Fotu's progression was coming along and he continued to be consistent in the secondary and logged another 14 tackles in his junior season. Unfortunately, after the football season, he was dismissed from the team due to legal issues. Then, in June of 2018, tragedy hit. He was the passenger in a single car crash where the driver was under the influence. At first, the driver was the only one found and was treated at a local hospital. Then, sadly, hours later, a woman on a walk discovered Fotu's body. Oregon head coach Mario Cristobal and AD Rob Mullins issued a statement at the time in regards to Fotu's death, and I quote, We are saddened to learn of the passing of Fotu, and our thoughts are with his family and friends at this time. He will be remembered and missed by all who knew him, end quote. Fotu was an inspiration for his community, and he will never be forgotten. Fotu Tuli Leatu II, may he rest in peace.